Happy Friday and good morning. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Lake here with a look at our full Friday forecast. So we're tracking that extreme heat today. We have multiple high pressure ridges that are building in and that's going to cause temperatures to rise even further. We have the possibility of record breaking temperatures yet again. We broke a few of those records just yesterday, but luckily we only have a few more days of that heat before that nice cooling trend arrives. So if you remember yesterday, we actually had a few portions of the central coast that were not under any watches, warnings or advisories, but now the entire central coast color coded in orange color coded in pink here so those areas closest to the coast there in Lompoc and Santa Maria even down in Ventura County are underneath a heat advisory so the newest update with the successive heat warning and that advisory they have now been extended so we're staying nice and toasty into our Saturday and Sunday but both of these will be allowed to expire by 8 p.m. on Monday so the entire central coast you'll again want to avoid peak heating hours and just stay extra safe as you are heading out the door so so let's take a look at where high pressure system is sitting. So it's still over the Four Corners area. It's still creating, again, toasty conditions for the entire west coast here. All these areas in red above 20 degrees above average. And then, of course, those record breaking conditions for the Pacific Northwest as well. But good news for us, we're tracking high pressure and it's starting to weaken and it's going to start to move out of our coverage area. So it's still in the Four Corners region by Saturday, but you can see a lot less widespread impacts. A lot of these areas, again, for Southern California, still feeling the heat, especially Saturday into Sunday. But at least by about Monday and Tuesday, high pressure finally breaks back down and we'll see it exit the region. So that means a significant cooling trend ahead of us. But before we talk more about that, let's talk about our red flag warning. This was upgraded from that fire weather watch yesterday, and this was issued by the National Weather Service. So those north and northeasterly winds will draw in that warmer and drier air. Humidity values plummet down to possibly single digits there. Very hazardous conditions for the entire Santa Barbara South Coast, higher elevation areas as well. This advisory, this red flag warning here actually expires by 10 p.m. on Saturday. So sundowner winds are going to be very important to track here. I do think they're going to be very blustery near the Gaviota Coast. So here's a look at our forecast today. Temperatures into the 90s and triple digits for some of our for some of our south facing beaches. I think Montecito is going to get up to 103 today, but you can see there Buellton, Santa Ynez well above average. Toasty conditions in Vandenberg, Guadalupe, 96 there in Santa Maria. Mostly sunny skies. We are seeing a few middle to higher level clouds, but those should clear out rather rapidly. And you can see here there's a couple cities missing. That's just because models don't do a great job when there's an excessive amount of heat working in. So some of these models were trying to say 113 there in Avila Beach, but I think we're going to be right around that 98 degree mark. And then Morro Bay, those models were trying to say 90s. I still think we'll be into the middle to upper 80s. And then down in Ventura County, back into the 80s, 90s, and triple digits. Again, heat safety is so vital today. Some of these overnight lows only cooling down into the 70s. So it's a toasty night there in Camarillo. Two more days of some excessively hot temperatures, but luckily cooling into our extended forecast. Stay safe and cool and have a good weekend.